Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Hymns are a big part of our Easter celebration. For many of us, it would not be Easter without the hymn, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. This hymn was written in the 18th century by Charles Wesley, one of the founders of the Methodist movement. But have you ever thought about which hymns the first Christians sang when they celebrated the resurrection of Jesus? The first Christians were Jews, and their hymn book was the Book of Psalms. While we don't know which hymns they might have sung, our Bible reading for today is one of the great psalms of praise, a psalm of praise for God's love and victory that comes as God triumphs over, over all those things that stand in the way of God's purpose. I'm reading Psalm 92 verses 1 through 4 from the New Revised Standard Version. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work. At the works of your hands, I sing for joy. Our joy calls for music. Another of the great Easter hymns is the day of resurrection. The day of resurrection, earth tell it out abroad, the Passover of gladness, the Passover of God, from death to life eternal, from this world to the sky, our Christ has brought us, brought us over with hymns of victory. This hymn has its origin in the eighth century. It is one of the oldest hymns that we have in our hymn books today. It was written by someone who is probably the most famous of the Eastern Orthodox monks of, of this particular period of time, John of Damascus. He lived between 678 and 780. He was a scholar and writer in the fields of theology, philosophy, science, and the arts. In the 19th century, a priest in the Church of England, John Neal, translated this hymn into English. He was a part of what was known as the Oxford Movement, a movement that sought to, to gather things that were a part of the early and medieval church and bring them into the present time. Music celebrating the resurrection of Christ reaches across the centuries and unites us in both faith and joy. For your prayer time today, find an Easter hymn. You may have a hymn book at home or you can find one on the internet. Take some time to read the words of the hymn. Remember the tune and then give thanks for the hymn writers who help us to express Easter joy.